how to convert M4A to MP3 on a Mac. I'm going to give you two options here guys. First of all we're going to do this with Apple Music and then I'm also going to show you how to do this with iMovie. Both of these methods will just work fine to convert M4A files to MP3 files completely for free and without the use of third party apps. So let's dive right in. First of all we click on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the screen and we search for Apple Music. From there open up Apple Music. Now click on music in the upper left corner of the screen and then click on settings. It might say preferences for you, that's fine as well. Then head over to files, then import settings and make sure for import using here it says mp3 encoder and the setting here you can put it to higher quality. Once you've done that click on ok here and then click on ok again. Now the next step for us is to import our m4a file. We can do that by clicking on file in the upper left corner of the screen, then we go to import now we locate our M4A file on our Mac. I have it here under documents in a folder called how to convert M4A to MP3. So I just open that up and here's the M4A file called breakdance clip. So I click on that and then I click on open. Now on the left side here under library when you click on songs you should be able to find the M4A file that you just imported. If you have a lot of stuff here like I do what you can do is you can click on the search button here in the upper right corner of the screen and then just search for the name of the file. In my case that was something with breakdance, so I just searched for breakdance and sure enough I found the clip right here. I have multiple versions here because I already did some conversions. In your case most likely you will just find one instance which will be the M4A version that we just imported. Now to convert from M4A to MP3 is actually very easy. Just click on your file, then in the upper left corner of the screen click on file, go to convert, and then click on create mp3 version. And this is going to create an mp3 version of your m4a file. Now when you click on that new mp3 version of the file, you can then right click it and go to show in finder. And this will show you your file here in the finder. And as you can see here our extension now is indeed mp3. So everything worked as expected. From here if you would like to place this file somewhere else you can obviously do that. You can simply click and drag and for example you can take it from here and put it onto your desktop if that is what you want to do. Or you can also drag it into one of these folders here like into downloads or documents or whatever. And this was method number one to convert m4a to mp3 on a Mac. Now let me show you how to do this on iMovie iMovie actually comes pre-installed on every Mac. So if you didn't delete it on purpose, you will definitely have this on your Mac. If you did delete it, you can always go to the App Store and re-download it from there for free. With that said, once you have iMovie on your Mac, open it up. We will do that by going to Spotlight here in the upper right corner of the screen and search for iMovie. We will then find it right here. So I double click on it to open it up. Then the next step for us is to click here on where it says Import Media. We then locate the M4A file on our Mac. I have it right here so I click on it. Once you have selected your M4A file in the lower right corner of the screen click on import selected and you will then find your M4A file here in the project window. Now in a video editing software like iMovie after importing videos or even just audio like we did here in order for us to convert that into another format or just being able to export it at all, we first need to bring our file onto the timeline here below. So to do that click and drag on your M4A file and drop it onto the timeline below, just like that. Now that we have it on the timeline, exporting it is going to be very very easy. First of all make sure that your M4A file here is selected, you can simply left click on it to do that. And then in the upper right corner of the screen tap on the share icon and go to export file. Once they're under format here, make sure to choose audio only because we just want to convert this from M4A to an MP3 file. So we basically don't need to bother about any video settings here. And then under file format instead of AAC choose MP3. That's all you need to do here. Then just click on next here in the lower right corner. Give it another name if you want. Under where here you can set the location where this file should be saved on your Mac. If you want to put it on the desktop you can choose desktop here. I prefer to save it to documents so I just leave documents here. And once you're done with that, click on save. Now just head over to the location where you saved your file. If you saved it on the desktop it should pop up here. As I have saved it to documents I'm just going to open up spotlight search here in the upper right corner of the screen. Search for finder, open up the finder and then here on the left side I will switch to documents. And sure enough on top here I have my newly created mp3 file. 
And that's it guys, you've done it. Congratulations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Mac tutorials.